it's that time of year. The daffodils are up, the tulips are blooming, the forsythia is in its full majestic yellow color, and it's that time of year to think about the garden a little bit more. So let's talk a little bit today about what can go wrong and what can go right with your lawn and garden in terms of weed control. When you think about it in the spring, we're ready to go, we want to get out there and put something out and get taken care of. And you can do everything right. You can mow correctly, you can landscape correctly, you can do everything you want to do right, but often the weeds that are most troublesome are those weeds most effectively controlled with a pre-emergent herbicide. Today we're going to talk about pre-emergence in both the lawn and the garden. Pre-emergent weed management, what exactly does that mean? Pre-emergent means that you control the weed prior to it emerging from the soil. It's a common misconception that you're talking about a germination inhibitor, but in fact they don't inhibit germination. The plant germinates, then that weed or root comes in contact with the herbicide in the soil, and then it's basically eradicated. So it's a real simple concept, but there are a wealth of materials available at the store, and which one is the best for you? You walk into the garden store and you're a little bit overwhelmed by everything that's there. Which one works for what purpose? Is X better than Y? Exactly what are we looking for when we look for a pre-emergent herbicide? Well, the first thing you need to understand is optimal timing. Everyone seems to get in a hurry in the spring to put it on a little bit early. Now that doesn't really inhibit the effectiveness for early season weed control, but it can cause failure later in the season. So we do strongly recommend in eastern Nebraska, you put that application down somewhere the near of the end of April or first week in May. And as we move to western Nebraska, because of their temperature conditions, probably the first or second week of May. So that's the optimal timing. But you do see people putting out these products much earlier than that. Once again, the product may not fail, but it won't give you that season long control. The most optimal way to measure when to put this on to optimize that um, pesticide efficacy is the use with a, of a soil thermometer. For example, this is a little pocket soil thermometer that's available at a number of different locations. You can get them digital, you can get them you know, analog, there's a lot of different things out there you can do. And simply all you do is you go throughout the yard, put the, soil, put the probe into the ground about two inches, no more than three inches, let it sit there a while till the soil temperature equilibrates, and then you get a measurement. For optimal crabgrass control, we'd like to see sustained temperatures during the day of 55 degrees. So three days in a row at 55 and you're ready to put the pre-emergent down. But we've done some of that homework for you already, when in fact we've done record keeping for the last 50 years for weather. And we find once again, last week in April, first week in May in eastern Nebraska, first or second week in May in western Nebraska. So it's a pretty simple test. Now, what product do you choose? Well, there's several options out there. Products that contain a pro, um, prodiamine are a long residual. Often the trade name is called Barricade. You'll see that on the bag. That's a long residual one that requires only one application and will give you season long control. One of the cautions in that is that if we do have a stressful summer under Nebraska conditions, it's entirely possible that when you're trying to reseed in July or August, there may still be residual herbicide in the soil and those seedlings could be inhibited. It's not always a problem, but it's something you need to be aware with. The industry standard is pendimethalin-based products, Scott's Halts, for example. This product has been around for years, proven to be very effective, and under Nebraska conditions, far more effective with two applications. One is previously mentioned, and then another one four to six weeks later. The other beauty of very pre-emergent herbicides is they often carry fertilizer with them. So that you've got, you're killing two birds with one stone. You're putting that early season fertility down, as well as weed control. And what if you're going to try to overseed or reseed in the spring of the year? You really only have one choice. It's usually called starter fertilizer with crabgrass preventer or something along those lines. And the active ingredient in that is a product called Sigeron or the trade main is Tupper Sand. You can put that right over the top of cool season grasses in under Nebraska conditions. The perennial grass is not inhibited in terms of its growth, but the crabgrass, the foxtail, and the other annual weeds are, are inhibited. And it's a great way to make sure you get a head start on that um, spring seeding. If you don't use a pre-emergent in the spring when you're overseeding, you often have a failure in terms of the overseeding operation because the weeds can't compete, the weeds outcompete, excuse me, the grasses in that particular environment. So you've got a number of options. Now what about the landscape? There are some excellent products out there. Preen is a trade name. Uh, there's a lot of generic brands of Trefland. They work great in landscape beds. All of the products, whether they're in the lawn, or in the landscape must be watered in. We strongly recommend a minimum of a half inch of water, get them watered in to activate that herbicide, get it up off the surface where it may photodegrade and optimize pesticide efficacy. So I think we've kind of gone down the list of what you need to look for, soil temperature, optimal product, when to apply, 
and I think you're going to find some successes in your pre-emergent applications this year. All of the previously mentioned herbicides are synthetics. Is there a natural option available for pre-emergent herbicide? And in recent work done at Iowa State, indeed there is. There's a product that's derived from corn gluten mill that has proven to be an extremely effective pre-emergent herbicide in lawns and gardens. This product is just a natural byproduct of the corn processing plant and has proven to be a very effective weed control device. Couple of cautions. One is it's very high in nitrogen, so it's entirely possible that you'll get an excessive nitrogen application in the first year of use under Nebraska growing conditions. In our test, we show that there's a little bit of excessive growth, but in the second and third year, as you back off the rate as recommended on the label, you'll find that the product can be very effective and is totally organic.